Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T-Game and Tech, and today I'm going to be reviewing the app My Real Font for Android devices. And this was just recently released on the Play Store, and it comes in a free version and a version that is 99 cents. And so basically, this font lets you create your own font. It comes with a default font, and this is what you're seeing right now. This is just an example of seeing what the default font looks like. And after you actually type the message or the font or whatever you want into this actual little message area, you can then do a couple of different things with it. First, you can click on this text button. You can move it around, place it really wherever you want. You can click on the font button and you can change the color of the actual text. You can change the size of the font and you can change which font you actually want to have selected, the default font or another different font. And then if you click the little smiley face, you can actually select different pictures that you can insert beside your font just to spice it up a little bit. And you can also insert backgrounds to your font. And the last thing you can do is actually message it, either using messaging, email, Dropbox, or something like that. It doesn't actually send it as an actual text message. It sends it as a picture message. That way your actual font is visible and they can see the actual design of the font. So if we go back, uh, this is my personal font that I created. You can easily edit it. And I went through every single letter, both lowercase, capitals, numbers, and symbols, and wrote in every single letter uh, the way I would write it. And that's how I got my font. And so if I go to write a new message, you tap here to start, and you can type. And as you can see, it does look different than the actual default font. And it does look like the letters that I wrote in the actual app. And so this is actually pretty cool. You can really customize the font to however you really want it to look. Now to actually make a new font, just click on the little font button at the bottom, and then it'll ask you to go through and trace all of the letters or write in really whatever you want. You don't have to write in letters. You could really make this into your own secret code or draw smiley faces for letters. Really, you could draw anything for letters. As you see here, this is just an example. You can really just write whatever you want in the actual letter space. And whenever you type it on the keyboard within the app, it will show the symbol or the letter that you actually type in. And so I drew a huge E, a huge F, a couple of squiggles for the earlier letters. And now for G, I'm going to write a smiley face. And we'll see how well they actually translate into the actual app. And so you just name your app or your font whenever you're actually done with it. Save it. You can go back. You can write a new message. And so this is an example of what my font looks like. So you remember that. And now we'll go here and we'll write a new message with a new font. And you can see that only the E's are really changed. The G's change at the end. If you do not actually type in a letter for every single font, it will revert to the default font. So if you don't have uh, your own input typed in for the letter Z, it's just going to use the Z that's in the default font. Uh, that way you don't have missing characters. It just uh, falls back on the default font. And so as you can see, it translates what I wrote pretty well. And so uh, this app just has a lot of interesting capabilities. You can actually export your font to your computer if you buy the pro version, which is 99 cents. In the free version, all you can do is create one extra font. Uh, in the pro version, you can create more than one font. You can export it to a computer. You can then use that font on the computer. And so I think that's a really cool feature. Uh, you can really have endless fonts. You can design fonts however you really want. And uh, with this app, I would suggest using a stylus because it's kind of awkward typing and drawing the actual font with your finger. Uh, it doesn't really turn out as well as you would as it would if you were using a stylus. So I would recommend a stylus with this app, but I would recommend you guys try it out. You can try the free version. It's called My Real Font. It's on the Play Store, and the free version lets you design one free font, and you can just see how it works. If you like what you see, you can buy the pro version. You can make more fonts. You can export them to your computer or your Mac. And so I do think it's worth checking out. It's on the Play Store. And so hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It helps support the channel. Subscribe as well if you are interested in more tech and game-related videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.